The Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, has started a four-day bus tour of Queensland to boost his credentials ahead of a federal election. He's targeting a number of key marginal seats between the Gold Coast and North Queensland as his party looks to reconnect with its conservative base. Here's state political reporter Alison Horn. In Queensland, votes like strawberries are ripe for the picking. Scott Morrison is hoping his jam-packed tour will deliver the coalition's success in key marginal seats. Good. It looks and sounds like an election campaign. Hi, how are you? Chantel. Hey, Chantelle, who's this? Isabella? But the PM insists it's his usual operation. This is me doing what I do, and I'm, I'm out, I'm listening, I'm hearing, and I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as a Prime Minister. Though he has brought sweeteners. Today, announcing backpackers and seasonal workers will be allowed to stay longer in Australia to fill worker shortages on farms. He'll also expand the number of regional locations where working holiday visas can be used. All of this is designed to support small family, medium-sized businesses working in regional areas all around the country. To hear now that we're going to be able to run out to 12 months with our, our staff, that's fantastic news because with only six months we feel like we're constantly having to train our staff. There'll be more announcements to come this week as the ScoMo Express travels from the Gold Coast to Townsville, just six months out from the federal election deadline. Four days in a big blue bus won't make up for five years of Liberal cuts. Eight of the coalition's Queensland seats are held on a margin of 5% or fewer. And following the LNP's loss at the Wentworth by-election, the party is desperate to retain its conservative Queensland vote. Yes, I may be from New South Wales. I may barrack for the Blues at State of Origin <laughs> time. Um, but you know, Val Holmes does play for the Sharks, so there you go. Um, I'm here to back Queenslanders. The Prime Minister heads to the Sunshine Coast tomorrow. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.